Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. The Constitutional Court of Korea has ruled that the former Park Geun-hye administration's creation of a blacklist targeting prominent figures in the culture and arts sectors is unconstitutional. In a unanimous decision, all nine justices found that the blacklisting of artists who voiced their support for opposition lawmakers or s e o l ferry victims to take away their funding eligibility was an unjustifiable act of voluntary discrimination. President Moon Jae-in filled 10 vice ministerial positions with new appointments. They include former ambassador to France, Choi Jong-moon, for the new second vice minister of foreign affairs and current deputy minister for planning and coordination, c h u n g Jong-chul, for the education vice minister. Economics professor Ryu g u n g w a n from Seoul National University will head Statistics Korea and former Minister of Defense Acquisition Program Administration will become the new minister. The Blue House spokesperson said the president has appointed top talents with substantial expertise and experience in the field as well as integrity. Finally, health authorities are suspending flights to and from the United Kingdom until December 31st to block entry of the new coronavirus variant from the country, joining 50-plus other nations that have banned or limited flights to and from the UK. Over the last two months, 15 people who flew in from the UK have tested positive for COVID-19, but the new variant has not been confirmed in Korea. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we will look at the verdict handed down in the c h u n g y o n g s h i m case in more detail during our news seminar segment.